So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to discuss something known as binding. So we have seen what a state variable is in Swift UI and how you can make use of it nicely. But state would only help you to create local variables to your views. And in a lot of cases, that's not really what you want to do. What you want to do as Apple recommends is Take up your state as much high as possible in your view hierarchy. That is, your source of truth, that is your main state, should be as high as possible. So once you do that, what you need to do is eventually pass down your state to different views which need that. Right? So what you want to do is you want to actually make use of something known as binding. So once you have state in place, what we want to do is we want to pass down this state, right? So before actually starting, let me just get rid of a lot of constructors here. Let's just keep it a little bit clean. And I could just pretty much go ahead and give this a secure text field as well, just to make things consistent. And there we go. So now what we want to do is instead of this state right here, which uses a kind of similar name I'm gonna rename this to let's say text binding right and this should be text binding too all right so what we want to do now is we want to receive we want to receive the binding which we keep right here now this is the highest view possible for us so I'm gonna keep my username which is the thing we type here and state private war password which is also a string in this view and I'm gonna pass them down just like saying let's say uh, state binding is username for this one and state binding is password for this one right so I'm passing in two different bindings to a single view which should pretty much just include the binding and then var let's say what this is uh, state binding I guess that's what I mentioned it here yes state binding and uh, it's obviously of string and this is all you have to do so once you have this in place you can see that input text field throws the first argument as state binding which is username and in this case it's password so it's going to eventually match it up correctly and once we have that in place what we need to do is just replace this with the right state binding which we have right here right so let's just go ahead and build this solution and what we should be able to see is once we build this we should be able to interact with it just like you would expect it to and you can see right here we can just resume our self.username and self.password here so that when we play this on a real device it actually logs something for us all right, so once that's ready, we could pretty much just go ahead and test this out for ourselves. I'm gonna type something random here and something random here too. And we could obviously see that the password is, well, bigger in length than the username. And I'm gonna hit login. So now if we see here, we see our usernames and password just correctly logged in. And you can see that this view does not even own the text fields which we are applying this state binding to so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you're gonna pass down the state binding down the views and uh, that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video